Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to Seasonal Swigs and Sweets. I'm John. I'm Amber. And today we are going to be tasting uh, Harpoon Brewery's The Long Thaw White IPA. And for dessert, we made um, a lemon bread. It sounds weird, but it's gonna be good. All right, so start by talking about the label. I haven't even gotten to really look at this yet. It has a fun back label, I can tell you that. Oh, there's photos, photo collage. I bet these people were so excited to get their <laughs> pictures on here. Yep. You are so all famous. Follow Harpoon on Instagram. So this is a Harpoon Pretty out cool. of uh, Boston, Massachusetts. Love beer, love life is their little motto they have on mm -hmm. here. This is a cute label. I think it's adorable. They got a little orange. They got a little hop. Nice we've illustrations. Had, we've had Harpoon beer before, like UFO, um, which was a kind of catastrophic experience for us. All sorts of gross stuff in it. Remember? <gasps> Is that the one that, that had the, sediment? That was the sediment beer. Oh, that was so but icky. Right, here's their very classic cap. I yeah, like it. nice. Um, um, so for label rating, I would give that probably 3.8 out 3 .8. of 5. It's adorable, but so, not adorable enough. It says, spring in New England is, is fickle. But that doesn't mean we can't enjoy it. Whatever the thermometer says, enjoy the long thaw. So this is their spring release for spring, and uh, obviously. <laughs> obviously, like they say. Now this this is six point two percent alcohol by volume, so it's a little stronger. It's a white IPA, so that means it's probably not going to be filtered. Last time we had one of these beers that wasn't filtered, I did the special unfil unfiltered pour. Go back and check that out, mm -hmm. uh, and it didn't work. So I'm just going to pour this like a normal <laughs> beer. Well, it, it worked. It was just weird. Um, yeah, so I, I've said before I don't really like uh, Weed Ales, but we'll see. I do. I, I'm hoping to maybe like this one, although it's an IPA, so we'll see. And it's going to be really hoppy. Oh, this is actually pretty clear. Maybe maybe this is filtered. Okay. I, I don't usually like IPAs that much. Um, well, it smells straight up IPA. Really? So. Oh. Doesn't bode well for me. Uh, it doesn't smell nearly as strong as a lot of the um, American Northwestern IPAs yeah, that, that we've had. That smells definitely hoppy. It smells very bright. I think this is going to go great with our dessert, to be honest with you, because this is citrus. Feels, yeah, it's very. This, is, this, this must have like some orange, mm -hmm. something. Yeah, 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 it's got citrus peels on orange it. Orange peel. I couldn't find any information about it on their website. Yeah. So. Maybe they, they like to have mystique, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's got a decent amount of carbonation. Uh, roaring around the side of the glass. Looks pretty good. Smells pretty good. Smells light. Mm. Let's go for it. Yeah, that's a much more manageable IPA for you, isn't it? it actually, yeah, I was, yeah, I was actually just going to say, like, because usually when I drink IPAs, it's like, ugh, it just like hits me and it's bitter and I just can't handle all the hoppiness, I guess. But this is um, easier to drink. Yeah. It's not as strong. Um, so if I had to like an IPA, I could like this one. Yeah, and you know what? What's nice about this is because it's it's uh, spring beer and not summer. It's sort of like a little introduction to the super hoppy IPAs that you're going to have throughout the summer. Yeah, so, it's usually like when like, after I um, like take a swallow, I, that's when I usually get like the really heavy, like mm. hoppy taste on my tongue or whatever. Um, and it's not nearly as prevalent in this. Yeah, it has it has a very um, thin body. So it goes on easy. It's, in fact, it's kind of hard not to just, um, you know, tip it back all the way. I'm trying. I'm goodness. trying to get the orange peel, and I or the orange mm. hinge. I can't. I can't get there. I don't know where it is. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's. I guess it looks like an orange. I mean, that might make sense to have orange left over for the uh, spring beer. I mean, it might be very subtle. Um. I don't know. I was hoping to taste a little more orange. I think this tastes a little slightly bl blue more. Almost, you know. Sl yeah. That's what yeah, I was hoping. Yeah, it's definitely not that. I was kind of hoping. It's sl it's it's a little bit more floral and hoppy than it is citrusy. Mm -hmm. um, and the hops are not necessarily very piney either, so I'd be interested to know what variety those hops are, as if I know anything about hop varieties. I don't. John knows everything I don't. about hop varieties. Mm. He's an expert. Ah, mm. uh, yeah, that's pretty tasty. That's pretty light. Yeah, I mean, um, again, like, I don't dislike this. Like, usually I'm like, eh, you know, these aren't for me, but this, I could see myself um, drinking this, you know, if, I, if it's like, oh, yeah. what IPA would you want? This is definitely, this is, right. this is definitely a session IPA. Uh, like, this is not, I, I, you know, you could probably drink a few of these in one sitting, no problem. And I think this is go great with a, uh, uh, you know, nice dense dessert. Like, we're gonna have. It's not dense. 
Well, we'll see. It's, we're supposed <laughs> to be fluffy. It smells good. We'll get there. Um, okay, so for a um, for an IPA, I would say that this is sort of soft, if you will. So I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five for an IPA. Ooh. For a beer, though, it is pretty darn enjoyable. So I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five for beer in general. Well, I'm giving it a four out of five for an IPA just because it's a miracle that any IPA makes me like <laughs> have a pleasant feeling. And then um, for beer in general, I'm giving it a three. It's, it's it doesn't wow me enough. It's just average, mm -hmm. like taste wise for me. I, yeah, so, it for um, me, so hashtag the long thought. Maybe we'll do that and we'll actually get some yeah. traffic this time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this time. Or yeah, not. come on viewers, get the word out. <laughs> well, we can't tell them at the video because if they're not mouth. there, they're not, they're not seeing We're it. We're just talking to no one. I know. Oh, so sad. I really thought this was going to be the year that we got <laughs> really This popular. year? <laughs> I mean, did Julia Noon start out this way? No one knows Julia Noons but you. So... That is definitely not so true. So what does that say about her? <laughs> Alright, should, should we move on to dessert? Yeah, on to right. dessert. Okay. So we're back with dessert. It smells amazing. So what was this called again? This lemon bread. Lemon bread. Lemon bread. This looks like pound cake, but it isn't. We haven't tried it yet, no, but I can already tell. No, we haven't even had a piece. I can already tell that this is way more. It's nice and. Yeah, this mm. is this is way more like banana bread. Yeah. Uh, than it is pound cake. So yes. how did we make it? Well, John, I'm glad you asked. Um, we made it like you make bread. So basically. There's um, flour. flour and water. Like, yeah, water, sugar, eggs. Yeast? No yeast. Um, so it's not like making bread. No. You use some lemon zest into the sugar, mm -hmm. which is fun. Um, there is what else? Milk, I guess. Some milk. Um, you know, is you? We have the recipe in the link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the recipe is in the link. Now we um, uh, we didn't include the glaze because no. their recipe for glaze had some. Like vanilla bean paste, which we didn't it, have, yeah, it so made we went it look, ahead and skipped it. made it, it look way different, and our yeah. spread just looked icky. And yeah, it, it just looked different. That's and also wasn't taste, worth it. And the taste was um, like meh. So we'll be tasting the bread on its own. Yeah. Uh, we, great, we just had some fresh grated uh, lemon, lemon zest. zest all over it. Added to it. Just to pump it up a notch, you know. Alright, so, so well, let's, let's, let's go and break bread together, sister. <laughs> let's do it, mm. bro. It's going to be great. Mmm. It's so good. It's so lemony. I was gonna say, it's not overpowering lemon though. Like, it's nice. Are you okay? <laughs> Let me work it out. Oh. You're still eating. <laughs> <laughs> There's a continuity problem if we let it back in and you're. Oh. Okay. I'm good. Yes, Amber. You don't think it tastes like lemon? <laughs> no, it tastes like lemon. <laughs> Just, it's not like, it's not like sour lemon taste no. at all. Mm. No, it's like a nice savory lemon. It's very light. Mm. Um, this is nice. It, the texture turned out really well. Yeah. You, oh, you use sour cream. That's like the big thing. You use sour cream to keep it moist, mm -hmm. and it definitely did its job. Now, for she said to wrap it in saran wrap after it cools down. You'll even leave it overnight, I guess, to keep the moisture in, but we didn't do that. But maybe I'll do yeah, that to I, the rest I can tell, of it. I can tell that this might be something that isn't good stale. Like, it's not good the day after. Oh, well, I'm going to wrap it tonight and hope for the best, because it's like, delightful. My family always, like, like we make banana bread. Like, growing up, um, we'd make banana bread, mm -hmm. and then leave us sort of lightly wrapped just right on the counter. We didn't even put it in the refrigerator, and it was always good hmm. every single day. We never did something like make French toast with it or anything like that. Yeah. Um... But this, I kind of feel like, is better warm. Mm, I feel like I, I, I really do like this. Now, here's my question. What would you put on this? Not that it needs anything. And actually, it's mm. kind of greasy. Did you notice? It feels kind of... Yeah. Oh, it, uh, it's, it's a little buttery, oh, so you know be what? careful. Mm. There's a lot of butter in it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And I... Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> I sprayed the... Um, Pans, maybe that has something to do with it too. So what would you what would you put on top of this, if anything? I would do 
like a little like blueberry cream kind of thing, like something light. You can't Where have do you it. Buy a blueberry. Cream? I don't know. You make it. Lincoln I guess. just made it up. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> just made up his bread. I'm sure on Pinterest it exists. Um, yes. some, some kind of blue, some kind of like light, whipped, something or other, not peanut butter. Oh uh, no, nah, I wouldn't say that. Um, no, like another fruit. Pairing. How about like an orange like, marmalade? What about strawberry? Some like strawberry of. preserves. I don't know. Would that be like too much? It might be. It would need to be really subtle, whatever. It yeah, is. this might be something you just put as is with some coffee. Yeah, I think it would have worked just fine. Yep. And you know, I don't even miss the glaze that could have been. Yeah, that might make it too sweet. I feel like yeah. it would be too much. Maybe it would, a little too it would sweet maybe too put it. Yeah. Although hers that she did, she used this vanilla bean paste, and I bet that was probably pretty yeah. good. Because like a little vanilla on here would be that, really like nice. Like how spongy. Yeah. And a nice little crust too mm. on the edges. It's not like crunchy or anything. It's just a nice little, nice little layer. But yeah, I have to say yeah, I'm, it's pretty, I'm pretty pleased with this, and it was really easy to put together. You just, we baked it for about 50 minutes, I think. I think in the end, and yeah. um, at 40 we checked it, and it was not quite done. So yeah. I feel like this is the kind mm. of thing where it's like. Oh, what a nice light dessert, but we probably ate like 300 calories just now, at least. The butter alone. And like, so her recipe... I'd be fine if we didn't have three more pieces before we... I know. Uh, I know. Her recipe you um, was supposed to be making two loaves, but we halved everything to make one, so there was more butter involved otherwise. Cool, cool story, bro. I know. Mm. Alright, so um, I think this is everything I would have ever hoped it to be. For a lemon bread, so I know. What I'll else, give it what else a. Do you I mean, it's not a um, super sweet dessert. No, like but said, I it's, think it's that's more okay. Of a, it's more of something for coffee, yeah. something like that. Or breakfast. It's yeah. like a good breakfast bread. You know? If you ate a half a loaf, if I ate a half a loaf, let's be honest. Yeah. Make. Uh, see, I can't think of even like making like French toast with it or anything. No, you can't make no. French toast with this. This is not that. The texture is all wrong. Sorry. It's all wrong. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Um, no, I'm sorry. It's my fault. I'm not gonna. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I give it a four to five. <laughs> Dead stare. I'm giving it. A, <laughs> I'm giving it a four and a half. I really like it. And like, it actually goes really good with this beer. I don't know what context you would have lemon bread and beer, but mm. um, it, it goes together. Let me just say that. Mm. Delicious. Oh, if you need something to make for like a Mother's Day brunch. If you're hosting for your mom breakfast in bed, this is not a bad idea for that. Because Mother's Day is coming up. As so. long as you get up 50 minutes earlier than mom does. Yeah. Okay, maybe like give yourself an hour and 15 minutes. Right. For so prep. So you don't burn mom. Making everything, you know. Got to cool it down, so. Yeah. All in all, though, successful. All right. So we will see you guys next week. Yeah, I think next week are we going to be doing the Mother's Day beer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll, do, we'll do our special Mother's Day beer, yes. which somehow exists. I just don't know how I'm going to feel about it. I don't know. We'll see. But okay. All right. Till next time, guys. Bye. Good night.